Therese Bieber and I'm John Bieber's mom. Um, well, we always had music. His dad and I both, you know, are big lovers of music. Um, you know, his dad plays guitar, played piano. We like a wide variety of music, so there was always music in our house. Um, you know, and just practiced and put lots and lots of time into it and just started exploring it, you know, just really driven, you know, by that passion. You know, he has that passion for music as he does for animals. He, he's a zookeeper at Happy Hollow. He worked there actually as a zoo teen when he was in high school. He was a volunteer um, there. He, that's what he wanted to do and he loved him. I mean, he was the kind of kid that was always bringing home a stray cat or dog or frog or bug or, you know, <laughs> things in his pocket, you know, wanted to have goats in our backyard. I mean, so he always loved animals and, you know, learned a lot and, and just started volunteering and, and it turned into a job for him. Um, well, I feel pretty blessed as, um, as an adult. I think we have a really good relationship. Um, I, he, he's had health issues for all of his life. And so I think that has always, um, been a bond between us because I've always been there, you know, with him and through all the things that he's been through his journey of cancer, you know, just, I was there for him and, um, we've had lots of opportunities to have really good talks and, uh, we just have a really good relationship. I feel really blessed. You know, as an adult, I feel like he's not only my son, but he's a good friend and we enjoy each other's company. He's had health issues for ever since he was eight years old, so he's been through a lot. And they always said, you know, his chances of getting cancer increased tenfold each year. So it was sort of like, you know, that was always in the back of our mind. His doctor sent him to a, um, a doctor that specialized in that, and he... Uh, ordered some tests and at the uh, ordered in an endoscopy to see maybe what was going on uh, inside his esophagus or whatever and at the same time they decided to do um, further tests and um, when they did they found the cancer and so it was pretty much it was a shock it was just a crazy year because every time we go to the doctor something else would unfold you know and it's like one more thing one more thing and because then we found out you know he couldn't tolerate the cancer surgery until he had liver surgery. He was at great risk if um, of going through the cancer surgery uh, if he didn't have this liver procedure done. So, and, and for John, I think it was really, really difficult, you know, as upbeat as a person he, as he is and as positive as he is, I, I think each time, you know, seemed like a setback, but we just keep trying to focus on the positive and, and he, and he tried, you know, to do the same. It was the most amazing event I think I've ever been at. I just, I, I don't know how to say it other than it was just the room was filled with such energy and such love for him. I mean, there was just, it was almost like you could touch what was going on in the room. People, it, it, it just brought tears to my eyes to be up on stage with him and look out and see all the good thoughts that were for him. It was just the most incredible thing. And his whole family was there. You know, everybody was there to support him, his friends. And it just was an incredible thing that was going on. So I, I just, I've never experienced anything like that before. When we got the news, that you know the CT scan was good. He's actually had a couple of them. The it, it's been a little bit over a year, so he's had a couple CT scans that show that he's cancer free. The big milestone is going, making it a couple years, um, being cancer free. So, you know, it's great news. Every time we hear that, it's really wonderful. I've I've been glad to have the opportunity to share with him what a special person he is and how proud I am of him. He has such a heart for people and such a wonderful outlook on life. And he was like that as a kid growing up. He always had a heart for the underdog. He has such a heart for people. He just is so caring and so passionate. Um, and I'm just so proud of him because he does have that. He's just, he has an energy and an aura about him that people are really attracted 
you know, to that that he has and to watch him play, um, it just fills, it fills me up. And so when I see him up there and bringing such joy to people, you know, and loving life so much for that, it, I just, I just am really, really proud of him and love him with all my heart. <laughs>